So I picked up my Cybertruck months ago when Tesla had all those specials trying to get rid of them. And I've been wanting to do a video, uh, several videos for a while. But I bought this uh, roof rack uh, for $3.99 when I bought it. Uh, planning on mounting a solar panel on the back and moving that big battery pack that I had in the Chevy Silverado EV. I've been having so many problems with that Silverado EV. I don't trust it to take it on a road trip at this point. But, so I finally got around to it. And I noticed I'm not the first. Maybe if I would have done this months ago. Uh, regardless, that's Solar Trailer 2. So, <clears throat> there's my new carport I'm pulling out of with the Cybertruck. It has a single 400 watt flexible panel mounted on the back. Uh, I forget the brand. I'll put it in the video. But I have three of them, but one is on the rack, so when I'm driving, it's charging that uh, large 48-volt battery pack uh, that's in the bed of the truck. <clears throat> and then I could actually put uh, two of those in series, or since I have two of the ET4 6000 XPs in parallel on the back, I have two actually... I actually have two extra PV inputs, so I could put several more panels on there. You can't see it, but underneath the panel mounted on the back of the Cybertruck, I built out of 8020 the extruded aluminum, like erector sets for adults. <laughs> um, and I built a tray so I can put the two extra flexible solar panels underneath the one that's mounted because it's actually they're longer than would fit in the bed of the truck. Plus I have that big battery and a spare tire back there. Um, so here I am just setting up solar trailer two. You have to bring out all the winglets. Um, so that has an upgrade. If you look at the front and there was comments on it at the front of the trailer. So closest to the back of the cyber truck, it's now angled. I don't know if I'm going to show a good picture of it, but so it'll, diffuse the air instead of just catching it like a kite. I'm going to do a range tech test. I'm going to take this whole setup up to my sister's camp where I did other videos with the Silverado and the Model X. But all I did was I mounted it on top of the new battery pack because the old ones were out of batteries that got lit up with lightning and I thought they'd work if I just changed out the BMS, but they were too far gone. So I had actually purchased uh, enough for four 48 volt packs. Um, they're only 280 amp hours, so it's just under 400, I'm sorry, uh, it's just under 60 kilowatt hours. I think it's 54 kilowatt hours of storage. One battery pack is underneath that angled front of the trailer. So even when I'm not attached to the Cyber truck that has the three volt, three 48 volt packs in it, so three quarters of the storage in the truck, it still has a place to charge and it still keeps power to the uh, two inverters. So I built it up with uh, um, steel. So it's well supported and tied down to the steel framing I've added. One thing I didn't envision is I'm still kind of concerned when it's angled down and I'm driving that too sharp of a turn, the corner of the solar panel may hit the back. I have to do some testing to see how sharp of a turn I can take and not ruin it. You can see the in the back is my three packs, three 48 volt packs of those 280 amp hour uh, cells. They have three BMSs, each pack has its own BMS. And I just have a small Victron charge controller because I don't power up the inverters on the trailer except for when I'm stopped and the doors are blocked open. So I'm at least getting 400 volts worth of charging as I'm driving. And I think I have a screenshot of that uh, as it's happening. 
But here's the back setup. It's a cheap uh, little box you might find at a campground tied to those two inverters. I have an Anderson connector that lets me connect into the big box. Uh, the small box on the trailer is already uh, connected to a uh, bus bar in the back. So here you can see I'm bumping up the amps of charging up to 24 amps. I actually took it up to 40 amps, which is the max for this mobile charger you can buy from Tesla. The one it comes with is 32 amps. But um, because I have two 6,000 watt inverters in parallel, I have 50 amp of service, so it can handle uh, the 40 amp draw for that 240 volt charger. And it just has a 1450 connection. So this is the box that's attached to the trailer. I think this next one I have to top balance again. The cell voltages seem a little out of whack. But yeah, I can pull um, the full 40 amp charging and charge my cyber truck at whatever rate that works out to be 27 28 miles an hour something like that but um so i can't take it on the road so i'm going to drive up to my sister's camp put all those portable uh charging or i'm sorry uh solar panels out as well as the 3000 watt that's on the solar tra trailer so i'd end up with about 42 52 54 so i think i'll have 5.4 kilowatts of panels so check back and i'll have that adventure shortly